Hello everyone, this is Ms. Imana from the Knowledge Land and today I'll be sharing with you different activities and different games that you can do with your child at home or um, with the student in the classroom to review the shapes, names, some patterns, some colors and um, like graphing criteria and so on. So there are lots of great shapes, games and activities you can do uh, with your child. But um, make sure that learning is fun. So learning through games and activities can be fun and at the same time of a great impact on the child's learning process. So I'll be sharing with you um, like seven or six to seven games. And um, here we go. Let's start. So this is the first game and it's called Shapes Hunt. And in this game, uh, what I used to do is to give uh, the child a bag of foam. So these are shapes and he needs to match, uh, to match up uh, the shape from the bag with the shapes on the paper. So for example, uh, I need, uh, in this he needs to find rectangle, square, triangle and circle. So they enjoy, actually they enjoy the colors. So um, here we go. So for example, is this, is this any of the shapes? No. Is this any of the shapes? No. Is this any of the shapes? Yes. What shape is this? A square. Good job. Is this any of the shapes? Yes. What shape is this? Triangle. Is this any of the shapes here? Yes. What is it? It's this it's a circle and so on till he covers all the shapes um, on the paper and I have um, if you're interested interested with this activity I'm gonna uh, leave uh, a link of these worksheets or of these activities on the on the box below um, in the description box you can find these ones and one more thing about this activity i used to do it with the advanced because um with the advanced students they do it very fast so i used to give them crayons and um the bag so they need to color it and they find it very um very useful the second activity that i'll be sharing with you it's this activity it's called roll name and trace and my kids enjoy it a lot so also for this uh, group of papers i have like um three different activities or three different uh um like papers uh and it's like this what they need to do is to roll the die what number is this this is number two what shape is on number two it's it's a triangle so the first they need to roll the die then they need to name the uh the shape so this is a triangle then they need to trace it and you can find here like um a sign so yeah and again they need to roll to roll it what number is this this is number six okay name the shape it's a rectangle then they need to trace it i think i have one for uh, one set for this and another this is a different one so they don't have the same shape uh, on number one they don't have the same shape on number two so that's why i start with this activity then i move to this activity also if you are interested with this activity you can find it in the description box below and you can download it uh, the second or oh, the third activity that I'll be sharing with you today is this one. So uh, in this activity, I think I have um, like four ones that cover all the shapes. Uh, so in this activity, it's called cover by code. So you will have different colors below so for the triangle they need to cover it with the blue for the square they need to cover it with red for the circle they need to cover it with yellow and um so for example what's interesting about this activity is um when they cover it so for example circle is yellow a uh, square should be red and a triangle should be blue when they cover it even uh, for those who don't know the name of the shapes because this is a visual discrimination activity so they can do it like they can see it and do it without naming it but what's um what i ask them to do after they finish it is before they clean up or while they are cleaning up i need them to call out the uh, the shape so this is a circle 
triangle, a square, and we clean up with the same way. You got the concept. So um, the fourth activity that I'll be sharing with you today is called um, graph it. So in this activity, um, in this activity, the child needs a dry erase marker and uh, he needs to count the shapes, find the shape here and cover uh, the number of box that match up with the number of the shapes in this box. So for example, for the heart, we have one, two, three, four, five. So he needs to, to color one, two, three, four, five. For the square, one, two, three, he needs to cover one, two, three. And for the circle, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then they need to write down here how many square they got, how many heart they got, and how many circle. And you can ask with, uh, them to what's the most and what's the least here. And also this one is of a great fun for the kids. The uh, fifth activity that I'll be sharing with you today is this activity. It's called build with the snap cubes. So here I have buttons with different shapes and um, I, I like using these transparent files because I can um, I can change the number of the objects that I put in the bag. So, for example, here in this one, we have like a triangle, oval, diamond, heart, rectangle, and star. So, they need to put all the shapes from this bag on here. So, they got the first one. This is a heart. So, they need to find a cube and put, find the heart and cover it. So, another one. This is a star. Star, so they need to find the star and put a different color of a cube on it. So, and this is a tell they find it all. So this is another heart. So they need to put another one on the heart. This is a diamond. So they need to find a different color of a cube and cover a diamond. This is a rectangle. So they need to find another color. I think I didn't use the green and cover the rectangle till they finish and um and what's interesting here for the for the moms or for the teachers that you can change the number of the things that you put in the bag so every time it's not the same but they find it very um interesting game and activity so um i'm cleaning up also, this activity, you will find it below in the description box if you're interested in uh, downloading uh, this activity. The other activity is this activity. So I already uh, made it to show it to you. So in here, in this activity, this is um, an activity for shapes and patterns at the same time. So I give the child a paper like this and I ask him to build up the pattern. And I'm, I don't focus on the pattern name at this stage because what I'm caring of um, with this activity is to find uh, out if the child knows the name and if he can put um, the shapes together as I ask him in this paper. So for example, here we have AB pattern with the triangles, here with the circle and triangle. So, um, and the child will build like this here. This, so this is a triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, and with the same color as um, the paper. So I have a paper for this. I have a paper for AB pattern. Oh, I think I have two papers of AB patterns, one for ABC, one for AAB, and one for ABB. And uh, also this paper, also this activity, you will find it in the description box below if you're interested. And all these activities are for free. And here we go. The, um, before the last one is this activity. This is cut and paste activity. So I really like to, um, to experience some motor skills with my kids. So you will find in this bundle, you will find, uh, for example, for each 
two shapes, you will find two different activities. One with the shapes themselves and one with the objects. So here we go, like this one. They need to cut out the pictures here. And then they need to find in which column they go. So circle, 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 circle. They go here, triangle, triangle, triangle. They go here. But in this one, it's a real life object that shaped like circle and a triangle. So they need to cut out the objects here. And then they need to find in which column they need to put. Also, this activity, you will find it um, in the description box below if you're interested in downloading it. Um, the last one is this one and this one i didn't do it it's uh from i think it's from the major the uh, the major mom dot com and in here they need you can put you can cut out these papers and have them like a small cards but for me because um i like to store them in a safe place for my child so um I laminated it and then I put it in his math folder. So in this activity, also he can use a dry erase marker and he needs to find out uh, the objects that match up with the shape. So here we have a triangle, here we have a circle, it's the coin, here we have the diamond, here we have the rectangle, it's the door and so on. So these are like four, four papers back to back. So also this one, you will find it in the, um, in the description box below. Oh, I forgot the last one. So the last one is this one. Also this one, I didn't do it, um, but it's very nice one. So that it guides the, uh, the child how to trace and then ask the child to do all it by himself so he needs to get to start from a point and get to the same point and try to do his best to uh, finish it so for example for this one because this but the one booklet is for my daughter and the other one for my son for this week um, so this is the circle one this is the square and here we have the triangle I think you have um, five shapes in this one I will try to find from where I got it and I'll put it in the description box below so you can find it too. So the oval. So we have the square, the rectangle, the triangle, the oval and the triangle. And here we go. These are the activities that um, I would like to show you uh, this time. And if you're interested in these activities, you will find them in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on, um, click and turn on the notification. And if you would like to know more about shapes games, um, especially for the early ages, please leave a comment and I will do it. Thank you very much.